Pokemon lovers and welcome to a chilly episode of Raising All Pokemon! Oh, I'm so sorry. Today we are rating a bunch of Pokemon that I actually think are really cool and um, I did it again. I think they're great and a lot of people don't and I just wanna, I just wanna set that straight because the first Pokemon we're rating today are actually really, really cool. God damn it. <laughs> no, I, I really like them and I think that you should like them too. So today we're starting out with number 582, Vanillite. Vanillite is known as the fresh snow Pokemon and I first of all think that is adorable. People think, oh, it's just an ice cone. Uh, no, it cannot help that it looks like an ice cream cone. It's not an ice cream cone. It is made of ice covered with snow. It's not ice cream, it's snow. Now, this is... What I like about Vanillite. Vanillite are born from icicles that get hit by the morning sun and as they get hit by the morning sun, they wish to never melt. That is adorable. That is adorable. If you don't like that, you're a monster. It can create very, very strong winds and it can create icicles and snow and that is beautiful. Now, when it sleeps, it buries itself under the snow and uh, regains energy from the morning sunlight. Ah, every morning it makes a wish to never melt and that is just great. Pokemon Moon says, it feels pleasantly cool when embraced. This Pokemon is treasured by households in warm regions. Now that is adorable. I mean, uh, it keeps the the, uh, the hot houses in Alola warm, uh, cold, cool, and that is great. But while it is doing so, it is shrinking little by little and it will turn into a little puddle. Also, sometimes the snow on its head and on the, its cone will melt and it will become a tiny bald creature that is very embarrassed of its baldness and it's, it's just very cute. So Vanillite's name comes from vanilla and light and its French name is Sorbet Bay, which comes from Sorbet and baby. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I give Vanillite a four out of five. At level 35, Vanillite evolves into Vanillish and um, let me just say one thing, I think Vanillish is a bit of a pointless. It could have just been Vanillite and then Vanillux. Maybe that's just me, but I'm so sorry, Vanillish. I think you're cute too, but you're a little bit arbitrary. So Vanillish is known as the Icy Snow Pokemon and uh, it is again an, uh, a Pokemon that looks like an ice cream cone and a... Um, Ice shard. Vanillish migrated to very snowy areas during the Ice Age. See, Vanillish lived before ice cream cones even existed. And you're still trying to say it looks like an ice cream cone? <sighs> Ignorant. <laughs> Vanillish creates ice inside its own body when it drinks water and it can spray this ice to opponents and hurt them. It can also give very painful headbutts. And in warmer regions, just like Vanillite, it kind of melts a little bit. And even though it is able to recreate the ice on itself, it will always come out looking a little bit distorted, not the way that it was supposed to look because, you know, it's hard to reshape yourself from ice. Vanillish's name comes from vanilla and delish, as in delicious. I don't know why. And the French name is Sorboule, which comes from sorbet, and boule, which is a, a ball, a ball of ice, a scoop. Let's call it a scoop. Three out of five. At level 47, Vanillish evolves into Vanillux. Now that is the end of this evolution line. Vanillux comes to exist when uh, two Vanillish kind of like are together and then they melt a little, but then again, they freeze a little. And they're stuck to each other. You know, ice does that. Uh, that is how that's how it lives. Uh, I guess it's kind of like Magneton. Now, Vanillux can ingest very, very big amounts of water and it's able to turn that water into snow. Now, for this reason, it is very popular with snowboarders and skiers because it can create snow anywhere it goes. And because it has two heads, kind of like Duosian, when it, they both get very angered, they can create very crazy powerful blizzards. Vanillux again looks like an ice cream cone, but it most looks like a double 99 cone, especially with the little thing that's poking out of its head. I've had one of those in my life once it was in London. Um, are they a thing everywhere? I don't think they're a thing in the Netherlands, but yeah. I don't know why y'all are hating, but I give Vanillux a five out of five. Take that. 
haters. The next Pokemon of today is number 585, Deerling. Now, Deerling is a Pokemon that has four different forms four different forms and it um, changes based on the season. There's a summer form, a spring form, a fall, autumn form and a winter form. And I think that's great. Now, if you catch a dealing, it won't change forms unless it is in your party when it uh, when the seasons change. I personally like spring dealing the most. I think it's also the most standard one. Um, I, I don't even like pink that much, but I think it's cute. <laughs> Dealing is kind of like a deer uh, in its behavior as well. It um, is a, li a little bit shy around humans. It will move around in, in little groups. And it is, uh, it's her herbivorous. I don't know why that's interesting. Now, it is pretty shy, like I said. Uh, it hides in tall grass when it's a little bit intimidated or anything. And it just chills there. Just a little baby deer. So, like I said, Deerling is based on a fawn, a deer fawn. It does just, it just really looks like a deer. The name comes from deer, as in, you know, the animal, and yearling, which refers to the fact that it's young and it's tied to the seasons. But Deerling also sounds like darling, which is adorable. <laughs> the French name for Deerling is Vivaldam. Dime. Vivaldam? Vivaldem. The French name for dealing is Vivaldem, which comes from um, Vivaldi, who is the composer of the Four Seasons, and Dem, which is a uh, velvet, velvet, dear softness, soft things. Yes. <laughs> I give Dealing a 4 out of 5. At level 34, Dealing evolves into Sourcebuck. Now, Sourcebuck is heckin' awesome. Again, it changes during the seasons. It has these cool antlers with flowers on it, and in the, in the spring, they're blossom, and in the summer, they're leaves, and in fall, they're just autumn leaves, and in the winter, they're white. <laughs> Sourcebook also kind of likes to live away from humans. I mean, I can imagine humans are scary and they make animals extinct because they're assholes. And um, yeah, Sourcebook is pretty cool. Sourcebook is most likely based on the Père Davids, is that how you call it? Deer, uh, which is a type of deer that decorates its antlers with flowers and shit in mating season, but it may also be based on the stories of Baron Munchausen, who is a guy who shot at a stag using a cherry pit in his in his musket, and uh, the stag got away, and a year later, this Baron found a stag that had a tree growing from its head, a cherry tree. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. The French name for Salzburg is also based on a composer, Hyde, Hyde, Hyden, Hyden? Uh, who wrote The Seasons. And again, Dime. Its name is Hi Dime. Hi Dime. Oh, Hi Dime. Five out of five. That was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I had a great time with these guys. I think they're all pretty cool. And um, am I making antlers right now? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Thank you for watching, guys. I had a good time. I hope you had a good time. And you'll see me again next week when I talk about more Pokemon. Yay! Goodbye.